Andrews got 10 all of a sudden. D'Lo off the feet from Rubio. That was nice. And Steve Kerr wants to use a timeout. That first meeting between these two, that was the game where Jarrett Culver originally injured his ankle as Ricky Rubio pulls the trigger. He has been fantastic. He's Kerr got more assists than he does points this year. By a wide margin. Timberwolves get the stop. Rubio and Ricky. Oh, that was terrific. Done. Let's take another look. Yeah. Watch Ricky. I just don't know why you have to fall like that. Also see Houston in back-to-back -back games against New Orleans before they go home for the final six games of the season. Yeah, they've got an interesting set of games as Rubio has been fantastic. I, I, I don't think that they're going to be able to catch Golden State, and I only say that because the Golden State Warriors schedule is so favorable. And Rubio for three. <laughs> and Ricky's got his fourth triple I of the love game. It, Ricky. Wolves coming out of the locker room at halftime. And the Wolves lead is back to 10. Three times here, the, the last 10 games of the season. So, Kevon Looney can't get that pass handled. Minnesota's off to the races again. Josh Akogi with a tough finish and really deserves a hand one opportunity here. Wouldn't you know it, Timberwolves have 12 more threes here tonight. So you can go get another free sandwich. Josh Okogi, that was an impressive finish amongst three Warriors jerseys. Yeah. Come on, Looney had mishandled. Towns on the drive, and the Warriors come down with the rebound. Bazemore falls to the ground. Towns hadn't gotten up the floor yet, so he's going to get an easy bucket. Michael foul has been called on Kent Bazemore. Bazemore upset there was no whistle when he got knocked to the floor before giving up the basketball.